Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, you might as well give up trying to buy this. Intel's upcoming i7 crushes AMD's Ryzen 9 and Apple's new M1 Max. AMD's releasing another pain to Intel, and a new GPU competitor is officially here, and it can game. Okay, it's news time, ma'am. First up for today, if you recently purchased a new 12th gen Intel CPU, along with a DDR5-supported motherboard, you may have noticed that DDR5 is essentially sold out everywhere. And of course, that's not surprising given it's completely new tech. But it looks like that isn't the main reason for the scarcity. According to a new report from the component supplier 12chip, PMIC chips are currently in very short supply. And the reason this matters is because DDR5 is the first generation of memory that puts the PMIC on the module itself. Not only that, but according to 12chip, the PMICs that's used in DDR5 is 10 times more expensive than the chips used in DDR4 subsystems, and that the wait time for it is at least 35 weeks. Basically, if you were hoping to pick up some DDR5 anytime soon, I would try and look for other options. That or you could be waiting for a very long time. Now, if you're looking to give the perfect gift to your favorite tech lover, or if it's you, show this to a loved one so they can get the hint, because I have the perfect gift with today's sponsor. Brilliant! The gift that keeps on giving, because Brilliant is the best way to learn computer science. In fact, it was built to teach the STEM field. What separates Brilliant from anyone else is that they teach you with a hands-on, visual approach, meaning they teach you by having you actually do it with interactive lessons. Plus, Brilliant has been updating their courses to make them even more interactive. And speaking of courses, Brilliant has a ton, from beginner courses to more advanced lessons. So no matter what you know, Brilliant has something for you. They're who I trust to teach me STEM. So hurry and give the gift of learning by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, Intel's Alder Lake mobile chips are expected to come sometime in Q1 of next year. And with it, we're starting to get benchmarks of the upcoming parts. Case in point, a new benchmark was shared by Notebook Check and it's of Intel's upcoming 12700H, which looks to have been done on an MSI laptop. And as you can see, they have Cinebench R20 and R23 scores, and the 12700H looks to be a 14 cores, 16 thread CPU. When it comes to performance, in Cinebench R20, the 12700H got a single core score of 689 points, which is nearly 21% faster than AMD's Ryzen 9 5900HX. And that's Intel's i7 not their i9 model. But of course, that's just single core, not exactly the most important metric. Things actually get much worse for AMD when it comes to the multi-core score. In the R20 benchmark, the 12700H scored a whopping 7,158, which according to Notebook Check is a whopping 47% faster than AMD's Ryzen 9 5900HX. That's a massive jump, especially compared to last gen. Remember that this is Intel's i7. Moving over to Cinebench R23, Intel's 12700H got a score of 18,501 which is once again 47% faster than AMD's 5900HX. But what's even more impressive is that it beat Apple's new M1 Max and their 2021 MacBook Pro 16 by 49%. Basically, Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake is a huge comeback for the company. And of course, while there are variances based on laptop cooling, etc., this is too big of a difference to ignore. Next up, AMD is apparently working to fight Intel on every single front. For those who don't know, Intel essentially owns the market on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interfaces on motherboards. If you've ever looked at an AM4 board, you may have noticed Intel branding for the Wi-Fi. Well, according to a new story from Tech Power Up, it looks like AMD is gearing up to end that, as they've partnered with MediaTek to create their own Wi-Fi 6E controller and the latest Bluetooth 5.2. It's based off of MediaTek's 330p chiplet and is called the AMD RZ660. AMD is set to handle all of the driver software and support. And there, I think we'll just have to wait and see, as Intel has handled their networking business fairly well over the years. Whether AMD can do the same is tough to say. Regardless, the RZ660 is set to release next year in desktop PCs and notebooks.
And speaking of new competition, it looks like a new GPU competitor is actually set to challenge AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. And it's a monster GPU. I'm talking a multi-chip module GPU and everything. In a new press release from Chinese companies InnoSilicon and Xingdong Technologies, they announced the new GPU. Finghua number one. And what's really interesting here, besides the fact that it's the first serious GPU out of China, is that it can also game. Tom's Hardware claims that it's for desktop PC gaming and data centers, but others are suggesting it's more of a server card. But here's the thing, it does support DirectX and Vulkan. Plus you can see that it has display outputs as well as a PCI Express interface. I think this is essentially a workstation card like Video Cards mentions, but the company even says it will power laptop graphics. Regardless, it clearly can be used for gaming. Really, it even looks like a gaming card. Either way, when it comes to specs, the Fogwa No. 1 seems to be a next level GPU. For one, the card is apparently an MCM part, which means it has more than one GPU module combined to make one card. It's what AMD uses in their newest MI200, and what they're rumored to use on their next-gen gaming cards. Not only that, but it comes with support for GDDR6X, which up until now, only Nvidia's RTX 3000 cards use. As for performance, they don't really say much, but the GPU is apparently set for release soon, so AMD and Nvidia had better watch out. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for a new GPU competitor or are you just excited for Intel's upcoming mobile CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.